I'm your host, Co-Pastor Jones. Thank you for tuning in each and every week. I tell you, you don't want to miss it. We have an amazing gospel artist in the studio with us, and I'm going to introduce her to you in just a little bit, but we know that this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. So when we're going to do it together, then now I get a chance to introduce you to this amazing woman of God, and her name is Don Cole. Come on here, Don. <laughs> I'm excited to have you here with me today uh, because I want the listeners to get more familiar. For those that don't know you, uh, know some amazing work that she is doing for the kingdom of God. Thank you so much. I tell you, Don, uh, God is so good, and uh, I was honored to have you on the show because I believe that that is my job to uh, create this platform for gospel artists that are coming up in the industry. And you are one of the amazing ones that I know. So let's jump in it. Thank you. Have you been singing so beautiful all your life? Or did, when did you start singing? Yes and no. So yes I've been no. singing my Good. whole life, but God had to get me together. <laughs> okay, okay. So I started off singing very young, probably like at age three, singing with my family. Okay. But I'm a bit of an introvert, or I was. Yes. So God had to call me into singing as ministry versus just singing. Right, so, wow. But I've been stretching the vocals a long time. Since the age of three. So you just kind of like grabbing that mic or grabbing them shoes when you were, what, a, the brush. Yes. You know how we were yes. a little, we grab yes. a brush <laughs> and, and carry, yeah, carry it along, <laughs> you know. And so you've been having that love ever since you was a young girl. Yes, ma'am. That is amazing. Did you do anything coming up, like talent shows or I did. Did that too, man? I did. All of the above. It was uh -huh. my way of expression. So at school, I did Wizard of Oz. I'll never uh, forget that. One of my favorites. Oh, good to know. <laughs> and I sang at church quite a bit um, okay. when I got old enough, probably around six. So I would sing at church quite a bit. Uh -huh. And I did everything. By the time I got to 20, I was singing at birthday parties, events. So Really? Yes. So you just been singing all around and uh, learned the gift that God gave you or given you. Uh, to be explored at birthday parties, whatever yes. function that you was asked to be invited to. Wow, that is beautiful. So, uh, do you write music? I do, I do. Uh, so what's going on when you're writing? So I just explored writing. And when I was younger, I used to also sing with a group at church okay. called Favored, and I'd always rearrange oh, I love that the song. Title. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I always rearrange. We could start off with something something really well known like Precious Lord and I'd say, Oh, yeah. let's tweak it here, let's tweak it here, let's change this or modify it. So I, really? I think I've been a songwriter longer than I've been a singer. Really? Yes. But I'm really songwriting now. Um, I released an E P in July. Okay. Of five songs and I uh -huh. wrote four of those five songs myself. Oh my goodness. You've been busy. Yes, ma'am. But you Thank have been alive, God. yeah. You've been allowing God to use yes, you in your yes, gift. Yes. Wow. So going forward uh, with writing music, do you have any special project that you're working on? I want to see it's coming fast. I do. What, what is that? I love Christmas. I love Christmas music. Oh, cool. And I think it's gotten so commercial. I want to draw people back to the real story mm. of Christ and His birth. Come on now. And so I want to explore doing Christmas music. I might get a single out this year, but hopefully <laughs> next year it'll be a whole holiday album. Wow, it's good that when uh, God has given you a gift, not only just for singing for yourself, but this music is designed to help people, yes. like during the Christmas holidays. Uh, just to lift others up. Now, the single that you're going to be coming back to sing, mm -hmm. uh, it is to lift people up. Yes, ma'am. And it comes from a hung down head of yes, your own. Yes, ma'am. Right? Yes, yes, indeed. And how God was able to speak to you. Yes. And uh, what was what's the title of that song? That Prayer you, of Release. Prayer of Release. Wow. Yes. Yeah, I, I got a little taste of yes. Why you wrote that? Prayer mm -hmm. or release? Can you give me a little insight? Why did you write that song? Prayer of release. Yes, ma'am. So the trigger really was my father passing in yeah. April 2021. And in death, you realize a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. I ran.
recognized how much I revered my father, how much I honored him, mm. but it left me in a place, that grief left me in a place where I was totally bound. Wow. Like I really struggled with grief wow. and yeah. questioning God. I knew I needed to pray. And mm -hmm. I know God God is not a God who takes a long time. No. He can he can release yes, deliver God. all that immediately. Yeah. So I knew it was me in my own way. Oh, wow. And I recognized that it wasn't just since he died that mm -hmm. I had been that way. Probably my whole life I had been getting in my own way, stopping yeah. myself, falling short, right. getting so far even in right. answering my calling, and then mm. pulling myself back. Mm. And when I finally got to the point of praying, I said, God, I just have to pray for release. I need mm -hmm. forgiveness, but more than that, I need release. And the release is that stronghold mm -hmm. that yes, kept you down. Absolutely. It was a stronghold. Yes, and and even when I read that and prayer of release, people better realize how much the enemy would try to keep you yes. from moving yes. and moving forward in God. Yes. Yes. I mean, because God had work for you to do. Absolutely. But you couldn't work yes. because of the stronghold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A yes. passing of your father and, and trying to figure out. Mm -hmm. You can't figure out what God has already worked out. That's right. Because this is a point in time. We yes. know that. Yes. But that's where the enemy comes in. He tried to uh, embed that into your spirit. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's something I could have did, something I could have said, you know. And so what happens is it delays you from the assignment. Come on, prophesy to me. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, ma'am. Because I read that and I'm like, that's all yes, that was. Yeah. A temporary delay. Yeah. But it wasn't nothing God was denying. He was just simply waiting on you to mm -hmm. pray that prayer. Of relief. Of relief. Yes. That's incredible. I look back now and I'm like, for just a second, I believe the enemy has said, my God, what was wrong with me? We all go through so, that. Yes. We all go through that. Yes. And it has to be a point in our lives where we have to just simply pray uh, for the release so that we can move forward in God. Mm -hmm. If you never ask for it, you can't get it. Yes, ma'am. And the more you hold on to something, it began to eat like cancer. Mm -hmm. It will destroy you. Yeah. Yeah. So, Don, I just wanted to ask you, uh, you wrote that one, and then you have, how many single releases do you have out right now? So, I have one single that mm -hmm. was my debut single called Run that okay. preceded the EP, and then on the EP, there were five songs, including Run. My goodness, you've been busy. Yes, since you, Look, you've been busy since you got your release. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. And you see the difference. Mm -hmm. You see the difference. Yes, ma'am. When you finally ask God for what you needed. Yes. Oh. Yes. Mm. Got out of my I own way. on that. Yes. I promise on that. Yes. Because uh, me, myself, too, Don, I, I've been in places, been in positions that God is trying to move me somewhere. Mm -hmm. But I can't move because I'm stuck somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so when you finally can see what you need to ask from God, He'll give it to you. Absolutely. And you run like yes, never before. Yes, ma'am. And I can tell by your music. I can tell by your song. I mean, God just simply saying, "I was just waiting. I was just waiting." Oh, glory! Ooh, so <laughs> glory I'm thankful. To God. I'm thankful yes. for that, Don. Yes. Is it anybody in particular that inspired you? That uh, analyzed, you know, when you was a kid coming up. Who's your biggest inspiration? Uh, gospel singer was it family member or was it actual just gospel singer? A whole lot of all. Of that. <laughs> yes, my aunt. I know, right? Saying, Oh, and really? I had, yeah, and she helped um, my sister and I, raised my sister and I, okay. and so I got a chance to hear her sing, and she could play. So wow. I love that musician musicianship. Really? And I love Aretha Franklin. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. love, thought she had an all-together full package. Wow. And then I also love, I find songs and lyrics that I like that uh -huh. may not be the mainstream or top 100 performer, but wow. there's Nancy Jackson. Okay. I love Miranda Curtis. I oh, love yeah. Lee Williams. Oh, my so, God. Some of the great names you yeah. have called it. Good. I'm glad you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you know what? This is another thing that all those that you have called their names, especially your, it was your aunt, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's amazing because the Bible said, let our light shine before man yeah. that they see our good works. And you was able to see good works in all these people you named. Yeah. Yeah. 
that it glorifies our Father which is in heaven. Mm -hmm. So you allow uh, the good works that they were doing that God getting the glory out of, like right now. Yeah. Ain't that so? Yes. Ain't that so? Uh, me. Yeah. Little old me. <laughs> uh -uh, but honey, you have the big, beautiful voice. Thank you. I mean, it's, it's amazing that it touches people's lives. And Don, that was one of the reasons why I wanted you on the show is to share your story of being, uh, I'm going to call it bound. Mm -hmm. You were bound. Oh, for sure. And God had a gift and a calling on your life. But the enemy wanted to destroy you. Mm -hmm. But Jesus said that I came that you may have life and that yeah, more abundantly. Life. And the thing about it, you, you, you broke through that thing, that cycle of what was trying to destroy what God needed his people to see. And that was an awesome, dynamic voice that would speak healing, speak delivering mm -hmm. in somebody's life. I want you to uh, briefly, if you look at the camera, there may be somebody, a gospel artist out there, trying to get their career going. What would you tell them and what kind of hope they need in not giving up? Yes. That's and important. Thank you for that opportunity. Yes. Uh, just to offer in ministry, uh, the first thing I'll say is for me, there's definitely a difference between singing and vocal ministry. Yes. Your heart, spirit, and soul have to be committed to Come God. Come on now. And even when you answer that calling or make that decision, it yeah. won't all be perfect. Yeah. I might break a crack a note, hit the wrong note today, yeah. but to God be all the glory. Amen. And that's all that it's about. The moment you accept that calling on your life, you've got to stop saying, I'm less than, I'm not perfect, because we know there's none perfect for God. So that's right. take the step and God is going to meet you and do everything else. He's God, not us. So yes. I just pray God's increase on your ministry and that he blesses you. Amen. <laughs> that was beautiful said. And somebody needed to hear that. Because what we do and the ministry that we're in, it should come from our heart. Meaning you're doing it to uh, see lives change. You're doing it that God will speak to you through the spirit of somebody being healed. So it may be a song that you're singing. Somebody found and make up their mind, I'm going to get saved. I'm going to turn my life over. And that's the thing that people need to understand in the gospel industry. You will find out real soon it's not about you. Amen. It's all about Jesus. Amen. That he gets the glory out of it. Isn't that the truth? Yes, ma'am. And so we have to understand that. And where can uh, one find your CD uh, stream? You know, I don't know about Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I had to learn myself. Okay. <laughs> but it is available. They ain't giving us albums in 45 no more. You know what I'm saying? No. So how can they uh, stream your music? So digital music okay. available via Spotify, okay. Apple Music, iTunes. Amazon uh -huh. Music, Pandora. Yeah. However, okay. if okay. they're old school like me, it's yeah. on YouTube. So, YouTube. <laughs> I had I said I didn't know how to sign up for this. So I don't. I think I still don't have access to Apple I music, Apple Music because yeah. I have a droid. Uh -huh. But you can go on YouTube, type in Don Cole, and you'll be able to hear all my music. Wow. He said, in all your ways, if you acknowledge him, he will direct your path. Yes. So. He you direct your path to tune into the Power Phrase? He has to be here today mm -hmm. to share with you how God can bless you. If you keep him first yes. and you operate in the spirit of God. Because yes. they that worship God must worship in spirit and in truth. So in other words, what you're doing for the Lord, mm -hmm. I'm not to be about you. Yeah. I'm not to be about competition. That's right. That's right. Mm. It ought to be something that God is getting the glory That's right. out of. To God be all. Oh, come the on now. All the glory. All the glory. That's right, because I'm going to disappoint you. Yeah. God is perfect. All yes, the yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite scriptures, uh, Philippians 4 13, said, I can do all things through Christ. Yes, yes. But you got to do it through Christ. That's right. That strengthens That's right. us. That's right. So I'm excited to know that uh, you'll be coming back a little bit later in the program mm -hmm. to share a, a, a song with us yes. because I know it's going to bless somebody. 
I know the listeners because you tune in each and every week and God is doing some amazing things. And this woman of God, I tell you, Don, is what I know to be a true worshiper. And how we know the true worshiper? Because as your music is playing, mm -hmm. saturation yes. is taking place. Yes. Yes. See, I, I listen to, yes. I'm be honest with you, Don, I listen, yes. I listen to a lot of uh, gospel music. Mm -hmm. I do. And I can always tell those that where well, the music is uplifting. Meaning somebody contemplated suicide. Mm -hmm. Somebody didn't want to live. Or somebody uh, or still trying to make up their mind they want to change their life. Mm -hmm. But when you, you know, that's what happened with Saul. Mm -hmm. You know, evil spirit. Mm -hmm. But when he heard something. Yes. Yes. Uh, Immediately. Come on now. Look, look you heard Immediately. <laughs> I thank God for that. May it be so. Yeah. May it be so that this music touches you in a way that makes the next 30 minutes different. Come on, man. And then may you not think about me, but go to God and say, Lord, I want you as my Savior. I want yeah. you for the rest of my life, and I'm going to give my life to you. I'm going to give my life. That. And that's what makes the difference is uh, with you writing music, recording music, your plan is just to see one life change. Mm -hmm. It's not a hundred, not a thousand. But you want to reach one soul. That's right. And when reaching one soul, you know that you have done what God has called you to do. Come on now. God be all the glory. <laughs> God be all the glory. And you, you should get yeah. that. And you know, I really try hard not to do that. You yeah, know? But, but it's for me. I thank God for this moment. Well, you know, it's one of those things done that when God uh, called me into the ministry, he knew I couldn't sing, that's for one. He didn't give me that gift. He said, because you can't sing, you can bring those in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How can two walk together except they walk in agreement? Yes. So I can talk, I can bring you on, and you do the rest. I do sing. I sing to you. Look what I say. I introduce you. You do the same. Yes. So but anyway, that is one of the things that uh, God has equipped me to do is to uh, be bold for Jesus. Uh, Let's stop playing church. Amen. Christians, Amen. say folks. Amen. Let's stop playing church. Mm -hmm. God is looking for a real church. Yes. yes. He said he's coming back for a church without a spot or a wrinkle. And it's not the building. Mm -mm. You just showed up in the building. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? Yes, ma'am. And it's important that we warn, because the Bible says that we warn before destruction. He's on his way back. And for every gospel artist out here, I don't care who you are, God is searching your heart. Mm -hmm. He knows what you want. He knows what you need. And I want to, that's the reason why I'm doing this because God said, okay, you can't sing, but you can encourage people to let them know. Thank Stop you. playing church. Yes, thank you. Because God is looking for a church without a spot or a wrinkle, but he's looking for people that the gospel artist industry to come together at one and cut out the competition. Yes, Lord. There's no competition. Yes, Lord. There's no greatness, mm -hmm. but in Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I just want to share that with the listeners on today. Because what we need, we need the word of God. We need songs and praise yes. to minister to us. Yes. Not to make us be reminded of the world. Right. Because mm -hmm. they be separate. I hear you. Yes, yes. Set apart. And, and, yeah, right. set, yeah. Mm -hmm. and that's the reason why, Don, when I listen to your music and the lyrics, I know for a fact. Is healing. Mm -hmm. It's healing. Because you, you don't have it if you don't ask God for it. Mm. What you need. And I love what you said earlier in the beginning of this. You literally had to pray. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yes. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, if you had to, it, it, it probably would have overtaken you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Do you agree with that? Oh, yes, ma'am. So I want the listeners to know 
that if you do like done, seek the Lord while you may be found. Mm -hmm. Call on him mm -hmm. while you near. Yeah. Now, I know you was going to be working on some projects as far as uh, the Christmas, and it may not be this year that it come out, right? Correct. So, uh, are you doing any uh, touring right now, or are you just putting your music out there just so the listeners can hear it and, and stream it? And I don't know how they purchase it, but purchase a CD. Yes, okay? please. And on Fez TV, hit yes. that button and hit that dollar nine nine and purchase a CD. Don Cole, yes, I'm please. telling you, it will bless you. It will bless you. I know it will. And that's why I like to come on each and every week and encourage somebody. I always use this term, uh, what you do for others, God will make happen for you. Hallelujah. Uh, I got goosebumps when I said that. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't be stingy. And I say, you never open your hand. God can't put nothing in it. All right, now. It, 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 yeah. You hear me? Yes, So in other words, open your hand, release something. Yes. Release. Yes. Now, I want to say this. Her CD, if you go out and, and uh, purchase a CD, even on Fast TV, if you uh, will stream her CD for a song for $1.99, then that is a way that you can support her, and not only her, get the CD in particular, because we have the holidays coming up. Yes. Holidays are coming up. Mm -hmm. We have Christmas coming up. And a lot of times, Don, we can't think of what to give somebody. Right? Mm. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We're done. We can think of that. Yes, yes. This is my release EP. <laughs> okay. Okay, and give them the name of it, the title of it again. This is my release. So it's a black and white classic cover. Beautiful. Thank Beautiful, you. Lady of God. Thank you. Now, Don, yes, I, I don't really say too many people look like me. Okay. <laughs> yes. I told my husband, I said, did you, she kind of look like me? We yes. got to look alike. I so, said the same thing. Did you I really? said if we're next to each other, <laughs> today I have on glasses. Yeah. If we're next to each and other. And I, I have the glasses almost kind of like those. Really? You know, yeah. And so I try not to wear them. Um, Me too. <laughs> but you better rest assured if I look at a piece of paper, I'm going to need it. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> but anyway, I was sharing with my husband that I thought that means uh, resemble a lot. So we, we have the Spirit of God on us. Don't yes. you yes. forget that uh, again. So, the holidays are coming up. It will be a nice gift to give somebody. Uh, there may be somebody that's struggling in their own spirit. Absolutely. That needs to hear her, her, her song. And if you would just uh, reach out to her, and uh, she would be more than happy to see that you get a copy of the CD because it's important. I believe a lot of times... If ever, sometimes you have everything, you don't know what to get a person. Mm -hmm. This is an ideal gift, is to purchase a CD. Is there other ways besides uh, getting your music? Is there another way someone can get in contact with you if they needed to? Yes. Within, yeah, okay. yes. So I'm learning social media, but it's Dawn Cole. And my first name has an E, so it's, it's D-A-W-N-E, Cole, C-O-L-E, on Instagram. And okay. similarly on Facebook. And mm -hmm. I am on Twitter, but I don't know how to, I have no, a mask today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's Dawn Cole on Instagram is probably the best way to get in contact with me for now. And there's a QR code that can link to everything else. Okay. Is that the same for Facebook? Yes, ma'am. Yep. And so your name is Dawn, just Dawn Cole on Facebook? It's on uh, Facebook, I apologize. Thank That's you okay. for catching that. On uh, Facebook, it's D. Cole Vocals. D. Cole Vocals. D. Cole Vocals. So keep that in mind, D. Cole Vocals. And she just gave you her Instagram uh, page as well. Uh, think about it. Think about blessing somebody. Uh, you know, if you give, it's going to be given back to you. So I just want to encourage the listeners to continue to be encouraged. Dawn will be back in just a little bit. She's going to render us a beautiful song. And I know that you're going to be blessed by the song. And again, you have been listening to the Power of Praise show. Uh, if you would like to support this program, you can do so by cash apping us at dollar sign RJ0111. Again, dollar sign 0111. 
Until next time, God bless you. We'll be back in just a little bit.
we back to that thing. You, we want to thank you again for tuning in to the Power of Praise show. I have been your host, Co-Pastor Jones, and again, none other than Don Cole. Come on, let's give her another hand. My God, my God. We are so thankful and honored to have you on the show, and we pray that God continue to bless and strengthen you throughout your journey in gospel music and trying, you know, actually, uh, blessing others in songs and praise because that release, somebody got to be released. God bless you until next week.